Hey, this is Joe from HomestudioCorner.com. Got another PreSonus Studio One video for you. And in this video, I want to talk just specifically about zooming in the arrange window in Studio One. This was the, the reason I want to, I've talked about this briefly in another video. I want to focus one video on it just for a minute because it's one of those functions that you're going to use a ton. And if you're not used to it, you probably won't like it when you first start using Studio One. And then as you move on, uh, my prediction is that you will actually prefer it to any other system that you've used. But since I used to be a Pro Tools guy, I was used to zooming like this. I look at something and I hit T and R where the zooming were the shortcuts I used. In Studio One, the stock uh, shortcuts, you have to move it over to W and E. So E zooms in, W zooms out. Okay. Now, that, it works fine. You kind of find where you want to be in the song and then you zoom in there, right? No big deal. It's it's fine. Uh, but there's there's a couple things there that are a little annoying. First of all, let's say we want to zoom in on this this measure right here. We can zoom in and we kind of, it's pretty jumpy. It's not a smooth, maybe I want to see a little bit closer than that, but not quite that far. Well, you, you kind of just have to deal with it. There's no way to fine zoom uh, using those buttons. And you kind of have to just kind of maybe move things over and then zoom a little more. I, I don't know. I'm not sure what the solution is there. So that's one thing. The other thing is you end up... Uh, it's just it doesn't feel as once you get used to the way Studio One does it, the way the using the buttons version doesn't seem nearly as it doesn't make as much sense. Uh, Studio One really focuses on using the mouse for a lot of things. Now you may think that's a lot of work, but it actually it makes a lot of sense. Let's say I'm wanting to uh, focus on the very end of this song at measure 105. Well, I'm gonna have to click over here anyway, right? In Pro Tools, you could click anywhere in the audio. And it would move your, your cursor there. It doesn't do that in Studio One, but you can click right up here. Okay. Now, that may be a little annoying to you because you're used to Pro Tools clicking anywhere in the, in the region and it locating there. So that, I, I'll give that to you. That's a little annoying at first. But since we're already clicking up here to get there, guess what we can do now? We can click and then we can also just click and drag and zoom in right there. And we can move to the left if we need to. I'm just holding down the mouse button and I'm able to do any sort of zooming really quickly on the fly. So I can zoom in and out. I can come over here, click and drag. Great. Come over here, click and drag. And if I want to locate there, I can just click once and then click and drag, right? And it lets me just zoom in and out wherever I want to be. Really handy, and it makes it's a lot more intuitive. The more I pull down, the more zoomed in it gets. Now, you have to just spend some time using this, but I think you'll find, like I have, and I was, I was a long-time Pro Tools guy, that this actually is very intuitive. Now, the other cool thing about this that I don't know if as many people know, um, if you're wanting to work on this red bass track here, let's say, you know, where he comes in right at the beginning of the song, I need to do some editing on that or chop something up or whatever. Well, zooming in doesn't help me a lot because it's still pretty skinny. Now, there's a couple ways you can deal with that. First is you can come hover over the edge of the, the left side of the track here and you can pull it down, okay? That's always nice. Pro Tools, you had to pick a menu, or at least it used to be, and pick medium, large, extra large, huge, jumbo, whatever they were called. Um, but this lets you just size it to exactly what you need. Okay, That's one way to do it. I actually don't do that a whole lot because I don't want to have to come over here and click and drag it, especially if I want to do something like all the drum tracks. I want to size those bigger. Now, you can do it like this. If you select them all using Shift, it will make them all bigger. So that's actually a fun way to do it. Uh, the other way to do it is you can come over here and... No, nope, that's not it. Oh, that's zoom here. You can click on this. And it's that same thing like, like Pro Tools had where you can change the size of all the tracks based on what you want. I never, ever use that. The way I use it, and this is a free tip for you, put your mouse somewhere in the edit window, hold down Command, and then just scroll your mouse up and down like you're scrolling up and down a web page. So here I'm moving the mouse up and down. Then I hold Command and I do this. And it scrolls everything up and down. It's essentially scrolling through all of these settings slowly. So I can quickly zoom in on everything or not. So instead of, let's say I wanted to focus on the beginning of this bass track, I could click here. I can zoom in this way. But if I want to zoom in that way, I have to come over here and click and drag in a different spot. Instead of doing that, I just click here. That's where I want it to start. I can zoom in like this. And then I can click up here and I can zoom in more if I want to. 
So now I can quickly see my bass track, see the nice big waveform, it looks great. Another zooming tip, if you don't think the waveform is big enough, it has nothing to do with volume as much as just the size of the waveform, come click down here. This little button down here doesn't even have a name, and it takes took me a while to find it, but it's called the data zoom, whatever that means. So it basically just makes the waveforms bigger. If you're working on a piece of audio and it's just tiny, and you can't really see things to edit, use this to get it a little bit bigger. It's not changing the volume at all. Again, it's not changing the volume, it's just changing the view. Pro Tools has the same thing, you can zoom in the waveforms. So you can do that with this little button down here. There may be a shortcut for that, I haven't discovered it, but I don't use that very often. Maybe once in a session I'll click on that. The rest of the time I'm zooming like this. So to show this in action, let me just show you, uh, let me hit play. And let's say it's this section over here where I'm not sure which of these, these three guitar parts here. See these three? I'm not sure which of those I want to be playing at a given moment. So let me just go through and I'll show you how I zoom around and listen and use all these things together. So let's say I'm like this. So I want to zoom in. So you can see it's, it's actually a pretty fluid motion and I don't even notice myself moving the mouse back up here when I want to zoom. It just happens automatically for me. And I can quickly, like we talked about in a previous video, let's say instead of having this one muted, you can see there's an M down here and it's grayed out. I can select it, hit Shift M, and now this one's muted. So the left guitar is on instead of the right, all that kind of stuff. So real quickly able to zoom in and zoom out. Now here's one more zoom tip because there's so many zoom tips I want to show you. That's why I did its own video. Let's say you're zoomed in this far and you want to zoom out and see the whole song again. A couple ways to do that. You could do it the old fashioned way. Zoom up like this until you can see everything ish and kind of tweak that. It's not super sensitive when you get kind of zoomed out like that and then zoom up like this. That's one way to do it. Uh, but there's actually an even better way that works most of the time. And that is to simply, if you hit uh, control, I'm sorry, option, and the letter Z for zoom, boom. It basically looks at all, everything in your song and zooms out so you can see everything. Uh, sometimes using the letter Z does that, but it, I'm not exactly sure. So the best way to do it is do option Z. Now that's called something, here are all your zoom shortcuts here. Zoom full is option Z. So that lets you zoom in to the everything in your session. Now there's some other cool zoom things that I don't use. You can zoom to selection, zoom to what you have selected, which is kind of cool horizontally, but not, not that great. But what I do like is when I'm working in really at the micro level on a little tiny piece of audio, I don't have to go zooming all the way back out. It's going to make me not want to zoom in to begin with. So I finish this edit. It looks good. Command Z or Option Z. Bam, we're back to the full song and we can go back to work. Then we can jump over here and we can adjust this guy. Uh, you know what? This needs to be moved over, blah, blah, blah. Option Z, bam, we're back. Really cool. It, it's one of those things that it's. you may think, what's the point? It's going to help you move faster. And the faster you move doing these editing moves and recording moves and all this stuff, the more you can focus back on the music, which is what this is all about, right? So take this to heart. Do some practicing on your Zooming. Try some of these things I've shown you. Even if you don't like them at first, give them a shot and you may find, hmm, Joe was onto something there. Thanks for watching. See ya.